Launching my own clothing range has kind of enabled me to have a fantastic wardrobe. So I guess it has changed my life and my confidence. I live it every day, so it is my life somehow. My mum bought me a Romeo Julie jacket in the 80s, which I loved. She always wanted to spoil me with clothes, but I never fitted into them. So, you know, I was six foot and a size 16 when I was 13 years old. And then when I was about 18, I think I was like a size 18 and still six foot, <laughs> I was six foot one by then. And I just didn't fit into anything. And I was quite frustrated. That's why she um, actually ended up buying me a lot of fabric and I used to make my own clothes since I was 14. I did my first sewing course and I made all my own stuff. So I really enjoyed that. I nearly only wear my own label. I sometimes, I mean, I buy lingerie elsewhere and shoes because I don't do them at the moment, but um, I sometimes buy a pair of jeans from somebody else, especially a friend of mine who does denim in LA. Um, but I love wearing my own clothes and I think that I'm my own best advert. I do still get like really nice emails sent through to me and I just think it's great to get feedback from people and I personally look um, over the Facebook and Twitter account and I do see what people write and I do comment back as well and it's nice to see what kind of reaction we get to certain things. People want something more personal from me that you know like my dog, for example, she wants something personal from me, no? <laughs> 3D. You're so naughty. I think Facebook is, is a great way to connect with people and to organise events and to, you know, see what other plus size bloggers and um, people in the industry are up to. So you get a much better insight. And I find that really interesting. I actually spend probably too much time on it. Launching a new collection, I think the toughest part is always the production part of it, because the designing part is the really fun bit. But um, the production to coordinate all the factories and suppliers to come together at the same time is sometimes really hard. And there were floods in China and we had the terrible delays with our knitwear coming in so it all came together at the end but we did have some delays and I think sometimes as a designer you you just want to create things and you want them to magically appear but reality is obviously a lot harder work. There are definitely things um, which I design better in the office you know because I need my computer I manipulate quite a lot of prints and I, I need lots of stuff around me let it be tears, books, fabrics, beads, you know, there's always a lot of chaos around me and I, I sometimes need the kind of peaceful and quiet and sometimes I need the, the buzz and have, you know, my assistant with me so we can throw ideas back and forth and I think that's important. I like working with people. I love it when I see women in the street wearing white clothes and looking really good in them and, and enjoying themselves so I think that's really satisfying. A customer of mine said the other day, if I, you know, have a horrible accident and and I have amnesia and somebody would take me back to my house and I would um, look into my wardrobe, I, I would think, oh my God, thank God for that. <laughs> you know, just like, if you wouldn't know who I was anymore and you see all my clothes, I'd be so grateful. <laughs>